Hey everyone, um, this video you're about to watch was filmed about May the 23rd, I believe, 22nd, it's 22nd when I did the bailing and then the end of the video is uh, the 23rd, but uh, today, right now, it is, what is today, today is June the 22nd, so actually, what you're getting ready to watch is was a month ago so I've already basically well I've already mowed all my first cutting hay um, except for my rye that I'm going to do for straw I actually finished cutting it today I hadn't bailed it yet finished bailing first cutting yet I will be doing that over the next couple of days but uh, I'm about wore out and that's why y'all hadn't got any videos it we had a dry week and basically I did a, over a hundred acres. I did about 117 acres in uh, one week. Just me and Sean. Uh, we got along pretty good. It was just, we spent a lot of long days. Um, but uh, that was last week, uh, all the way up until Saturday, I think. And I still ain't got over it yet. Today's Tuesday, and uh, I'm mowing more hay. So anyway, um, I talk about how uh, dry and cold it was in the spring. Well, all that changed, and the hay actually grew quite a bit more. Um, I was getting, when I first started back in May, I was getting about half what I normally do, and then... After it started raining and warming up, it actually got up to uh, above, probably above average. I, um, a lot of the round bales that I've been doing, I've been getting about four bales the acre, which is really good uh, for around here. So, anyway, uh, hope y'all enjoy this video, and uh, I'm going to go to bed. See y'all later. All right, guys. That's the drone, by the way. We're bailing alfalfa, uh, orchard grass, and it is uh, beautiful stuff. And everything's working just right. Moisture's doing good. I am spraying it because alfalfa's kind of fickle. I've already bailed a couple hundred bales. And uh, I'm gonna keep bailing here and try to get a little footage, drone footage for y'all. So the name of this game right here is just consistency. Trying to keep a consistent amount of hay going in the baler, not overfeeding it. So I get consistent um, bale sizes. Drone does not want to be my friend. Does not want to be my friend. <laughs> it's supposed to follow me. But it won't. It thinks it's following me, but it ain't. It won't move. Just sit there. I don't understand. It's supposed to follow me. I mean, it turns and follows me as I turn, but. that I drilled this little spot actually that little spots it's uh, right here next to me Thank you. 
take my place here in a little bit so I can start getting these bells up. She's been at a t-ball game. I was there for a little while. For Dorsey. Mr. Dorsey's playing t-ball. short this year. I mean, regular hay, it's been cold, it's been dry, unusually dry, and uh, it just is, it's just real short. It ain't gonna put out much. The uh, orchard grass, well, all of it really, the heads are black on it because, the, because it's been so cold, it's all frost bit really bad. I, don't, I just don't think it's going to grow anymore, so might as well just mow it down and hope for, pray for a better second cut. Hopefully the fertilizer, some of the fertilizer still left because it, it couldn't have used much of it, no more than it grew. But uh, I'd put a tremendous amount of fertilizer on this field right here and it done really good. But it had alfalfa in it. So, the orchard grass did good in it too, though. Not as good as I've seen orchard grass do. But the alfalfa was about 27 inches tall, which is about as tall of alfalfa that has, as I have ever grown. I know that's pretty normal for for alfalfa to get that tall. But most of the time in that other field I had, I think it was a different variety. It was and it was an older stand and the part of it I had seen it never did do very good as far as uh, alfalfa went but the other part was an older stand I'm going to have to land my drone so what I was saying was the alfalfa I had before was a, I believe maybe a fine stem I don't know it was a lot smaller or shorter never got this tall maybe 18 inches is all it would ever do and it had a lot of it was a lot heavier in orchard grass and timothy than this field is which is the way i intended this field to be i didn't want it i wanted more alfalfa this time Skipping a few rows here, jump back in. Thank you. 
shut you all off for a little while and then I'll check back with y'all. Shannon's going to be here in a little bit. We're going to start getting these bales up with the tie grabber. So we'll see y'all in a little bit. All right, so I got done baling the alfalfa field and there was 600 and 600 and what did it say? 643 bales. So that's about nine acres or I think, eight or nine. So, that ain't too bad. Now, I gotta get all the, I got some of them up already. I gotta get the rest of them up, but I also have to ground bell some this evening. So, we'll see if we can get that rolling here in a minute. Going to hook the ground baler now, and then I'll hook the square baler. So, all right. All right guys, so yesterday we got all the alfalfa baled and in here in the barn here. So total alfalfa bales was uh, 643 and total grass hay bales the day before was 550. So here's the grass hay over here. Over here is some of the alfalfa and the rest of it's right there. I originally had Sean was unloading it. I had him stack it over here because there was still some hay belonged to my sister-in-law in this corner here. But they happened to come get it yesterday and I didn't even know they were getting it out of here. Apparently they were getting it out while Sean was unloading. I never, I never seen them come in here. So, but they had uh, 90, 100, mm, 30 bales or something back there in that corner. And they snuck them out of here while I wasn't looking yesterday. Uh, so, and that's where I <clears throat> had originally wanted to put the alfalfa, was in that corner. So I've been moving it over here this morning. But it turned out really good. It's alfalfa and orchard grass mixed. And uh, it's turned out to be really beautiful hay. And, uh, yeah, so that's the first, mm, well, that was about 18 acres of land up there total. And I bailed another eight acre place with round bales yesterday. I didn't video that. Um, my battery's about shot yesterday. Actually, I'm still on the same battery. It's still about shot. It ain't gonna last long. Um, <clears throat> but I got, 14 round bales there yesterday around that barn that Sean was raking uh, next to where they were chopping. Uh, that's not good. And last year I did over 30 in the same field. So it's a little short this year. I did cut it a little later, about uh, 10 days later last year, but I don't think 10 days would make a 15 round bale difference. So we are cold and we are, we've been colder. It's what starting to warm up now, just this last week it's starting to warm up. And, but we've been really dry and we still haven't had any rain. So it's not doing too good. And uh, the alfalfa field was probably the best thing I've got and I've already done it. Um, We'll just have to see how it goes. Maybe we'll get some rain this week. They're calling for a few thunderstorms. Nothing like serious rain, just showers. So, but I'll take whatever we can get this week, and then maybe we can get another spur to dry to get up hay a few days and then go back in the rain. So anyway, I need a balance of both. All right, we'll talk to y'all later. Hope y'all have a good one.